down. Hello there folks, I'm Yoshio and today I'm starting a new City Skylines 2 series. I really love small town and village vibes and I wanna try to recreate a little bit of that in the game. The idea is to have a small villages and population bases all over the map and I want to try to connect them with mainly with trams but also trains and surface metros. The problem with the trains and metros are that they're in right now in the game they are quite bulk bulky and huge and uh, I don't think they really fit on the like in the small village funk. I think it will work quite well with the aesthetics I, I want to create. There is not much elevation differences and in Finland where the map is based we kind of only have flat areas with just a few hills, nothing crazy. The game has some really high elevation differences and they are hard to manage and build in my opinion. I wanted a bigger road going through the whole village and that's why I'm using the four lane road here. I found out that in the map there is like a ruined cemetery on the on the way when I was building the the road so I needed to I think I moved it later and I tried to use the elevation as like a like a point to how I wanted to build the road. Once I was built I, I built the main main four four way road. I wanted to make like a, like this is going to be the main main road for the village. There's gonna be like shops and things like that on that road. And I wanted like a few bigger roads because I'm gonna use the alleys quite a lot. Because I want the small town feel to it. I hope I will not have problems with the with the save later later when we have like a more more people living in the town. But yeah, I, I wanted to build like a, not like a normal grid, just grids, but I wanted like a smaller plants to build the house on. I wanted to use like a, I wanted to build like a tight community around the few bigger roads and what I was feeling like what I was wanted what I wanted to do was uh, I wanted to use like a 2x2 two two or 2x3 two plots for the buildings at least for the residential buildings cause uh, that would make it a little bit denser and also the, there would be more houses and uh, it would I think in my opinion it would look like a smaller town with the smaller plots. I tried to fiddle out with the with the road network here. I wanted like sm maybe small grids, but I wanted like uh, 90 degree not I I didn't want all the roads to be 90 degrees on the on like inside the bigger roads and I tried to make like a room for paths cause I usually don't do this but I started to add the like a pavement paths like straight away here cause there's these gaps and things like that. For example, in this corner, I don't want to it to have any buildings. We will, you know, de decorate it and make it like a park area. Maybe add like a playground or something like that when we open it, like uh, unlock it. But the main thing was that I want it to be quite uh, walkable. So adding, adding pathways everywhere was like a key for it. The good things with the paths is that even if you if you have like empty areas that you can't add any buildings on, you you can use them as a uh, snapping areas for the parks and things like that. So if you have like a bigger area in the middle of the of the buildings that is not buildable, you can snap a park on it. I made the, the triangle park on the other side too, just to 
you know, add to the feeling of the of the town, and I I bet bet it's gonna look good. I tried to like save as much space as I could, so I wanted them gri the grids to be made pretty tight. Because I think it's gonna look better if, if there's like not that many like uh, open spaces between the between the buildings. I took some inspiration from Germany and Finland. I myself live in Finland, so it's uh, it's quite nice to just try to go a bit out of Helsinki and see for myself some uh, smaller villages. But also, like Google Maps has such a good 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 uh, view of uh, little towns and villages out of nowhere in Germany and in Finland. So those are my inspirations. I'm going to build those medium row houses. Those are gonna be nice. And like in here, there's gonna be like few small two by two shops on the corner there. I hope they're gonna be like uh, some grills or something like that. And I want to try to utilize the utilize the waterfront there too for something. At this point, I was getting quite. Quite uh, the the road network was quite done, but I wanted like I didn't want all the roads to be straight, so I added this like uh, kind of like a, it's been an old road that is a bit a bit wonky. There's like a room for a few shops in there too. I tried to connect that road, but mm, I didn't like the connection, so I think I left left it not connected to the the other road there, other alley. I added some uh, pathways to connect the roads that are not connected to the other road. Uh, well done, that's an uh, informational thing to say. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wanted th there was uh, this road was uh, quite nice for the for a little like a triangle park. I think I'm gonna uh, I think it's gonna be uh, decorated in this game uh, in in this uh, this video. Then I went and added uh, basic basic needs water. I think I wanted to use like the, the pump for this, so we could get some water. Then I made like a area for the industry on the other side of the other side of the of the water there, and I added the electricity. I wanted to buy the electricity from the from the other town 
like outside connection for now because uh, there's not much room to build uh, anything. So I added that and then I added the sewage, 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 sewage on the, on the water from there. Those are gonna be changed at some point, but for now it was okay. Then I started to just uh, put some uh, residential and uh, things like that on the on the road layout. But then I realized that I didn't want those big big plots, so I started I took them all out and uh, started to plan plan like a smaller two by two, two by threes in there. I had some problems because uh, because of the road network they couldn't build like two by twos everywhere so I needed to I, I think I changed them a bit for like a four by twos if it didn't take like uh, consideration the road like the building couldn't face some of the roads for some reason I don't know I didn't I don't think you can fix that for now so I needed to add some like a bigger bigger ones there so I feel allowed that quite a lot with the with the planting because I wanted the smaller ones but for example here it didn't just it didn't add the smaller smaller two by twos uh, then I did some uh, decoration I will do do more decorations once I get the, the town moving um, moving more like uh, you know working better but we will do that I add some oaks and underneath them I added some uh, some uh, flower bush bushes they work quite well I might take make this uh, this fence or hedge again but uh, you know that's that's what you get there's not much options right now so you know you need to do what you can and maybe hopefully we will get more decorations at some point and you know we can we can do more more interesting stuff but yeah a few decorations flowers and things like that then I added the morgue or like a crematory which didn't look at all European but here's the what we got what we did the end product, the city of uh, city, more like a village of uh, Chilham. On the other side of the water, there's uh, there's the little industrial area. I think that will move again, move away too once we get more tiles out. But yeah, it was a really nice, fun build. There's more to come and. Uh, if you are interested, please subscribe and uh, tell me some uh, things on the comment section. Thank you. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.